In this video, I will let you know how to use the TTGO TCOL module and I'll also show you what different kind of projects you can make with it. So let's get started. This is how you'll receive this TTGO TCOL module and talking about how to order then I got this module from banggood.com and I also attached the link for it in the description so you can also buy it and I got this module for around 800 Indian rupees. So along with the hardware, you'll also get one antenna, some mail headers and one battery connected module. Now talking about the hardware configuration then, this module is based on ESP32 Rover B. That means you can expect the Wi-Fi, Bluetooth connectivity, a dual core extends a 32-bit processor, capacitive touch pins and everything which you expect from a ESP32 board. But what makes this module stands out is its GSM GPRS connectivity. Yes, this module has built-in SIM 800L GSM GPRS module. That means other than Wi-Fi and Bluetooth, now we have more connectivity option for communicating between devices. We can communicate via SMS, via phone calls and via GPRS internet connection as well. So now no need to worry about the Wi-Fi router and its range limitation. Now make your internet connected projects to be controlled from anywhere in the world without any Wi-Fi router. So I think these configurations are enough to make anyone fall in love with this module. Now let's just straight jump to the Arduino IDE and let's see how to use it. So now before jumping in any code, I expect that everyone has ESP32 board packages already installed on their Arduino IDE. If not, then follow this video which will guide you on how to install it. Okay, so moving ahead, now this module doesn't have any particular library for using it. Rather, we can use the tiny GSM library for using all the functions of the SIM800 module. Still, I will suggest you to download this example which will make to get started with this module a bit easier. I will attach the link for that in the description. After downloading, just open the example called tinygsm. Now, before using this code, make sure you have tinygsm library already installed. If not, then just go to the sketch, include library, then to manage libraries. Here type tinygsm, click install. That's it. Now jumping into the code, then this code is only an example code which can fetch the data from this website from this address. Okay, so before uploading the code, first we need to provide the APN, that is the access point name. Now the access point name is different for different network provider. So currently I'm using this Vodafone SIM card with active data plan and the access point name for Vodafone is www. Now if you don't know the access point name of your network provider, no worry, just google it, you will get it easily. Now one thing here which I need to tell you is this module is a 2G module. That means this module will only support the SIM card which has 2G connectivity option. For example, if you are using a Geo SIM card, this module won't support because Geo has only 4G bands. Geo doesn't have 2G bands so it won't be able to communicate with this module. Rather go for some other network provider. In my case, I'm using this Vodafone which has the 2G bands. Okay, so make sure you use a SIM card from the network provider who has 2G bands. That being said, I will straight away upload this code by selecting the board as ESP32 Vroover module. Okay, so the code is successfully uploaded. Now let's just open the serial monitor. As you can see, I successfully got the response from the website which says tiny GSM. With this, I can easily conclude that the SIM card has an active internet connection and it got successfully connected with the server. So this was a simple example code. Now talking about the projects which you can make using it, well there are many projects uh, you can make with it but uh, I have experimented some of the projects and uh, I will let you know what are they. So first of all, I made a project called real time and date in which I'm just fetching the time and date of India from one website by using the API. So with this simple project, we can make a world clock, we can make an internet connected uh, uh, weather station without having any limitation of Wi-Fi router. Moving ahead, this model also works with the Blink IoT platform. That means now you can make that Blink project to be controlled without having any Wi-Fi router. Here in the video, as you can see, I'm controlling the LEDs connected with this module with the help of the Blink on my phone. And here the data is transferred through GPRS. No Wi-Fi, no Bluetooth. This is an amazing way to communicate with our IoT devices. Moving ahead, we can also make projects like, uh, you know, sending SMS to the device, making a phone calls and there are tons of other projects which are possible with this 
uh, TTGO TCall module. Do comment about the project which you want me to make a detailed video about and I will surely make that using the TTGO TCall module. So yeah, this was all about getting started with this TTGO TCall module. Do like the video if you really love it because by liking the video, the YouTube algorithm will come to know that this video is good and worth watching and hence it will try to promote this video to all other viewers out there. So make sure you like it and uh, do comment about what project you want me to make and just wait for my next video and then explore, learn, share with me, Techie SMS.